Hello YouTube, Infinite Match Ray community, Gandalf here. Today we're going to be focusing on Mavla. And what's going to be really cool and different today is I have Mavla, Mavla actually built out on both of my accounts. Lucky enough to get her um, at E0 on the S Server 108 account as well. And on the main account here, I dumped all the resources that I need to get her to E3 as well. So we can do a full comparison, see how much she improves our HP burn team on the boss and really get you know, a, a true test of her strength in actual content today. Um, moreover, you know, you, we, we're really hoping that next Monday we get the information on the new limited hero, uh, cause we're really close to Halloween now. Now, if we don't get it next week, then maybe it's the following week, uh, just because Halloween is exactly two weeks away. And I don't know if they're going to put the event up right before Halloween or right after Halloween. So, so we'll have to wait until, until we see next week, but but we'll see the kit of the new limited hero hopefully on Wednesday next week. And then, then you can make an informed decision on do you want to grab a copy of Mavla to help boost your HP burn team? Or uh, is it important to just get that limited hero? Uh, moreover, I'll say, you know, a lot of people are very upset about, you know, finally being able to regress your hero uh, that has been broken through. But you don't get any of the breakthrough material back. It is a little bit of disappointment. But do keep in mind, right? When you go to any breakthrough here, you are warned that regression is not available, right? Uh, or you will not get any material back. I guess that warning will change afterwards. It's really meant for regressing heroes such as Donald, where, you know, if for those players who got an E5 Donald and regressed it th and, you know, broke through on it without realizing how how much more important the other e Elemental City hero has become in the new content, that I would really want to regress it and put it all into the likes of um, of O'Grady's and into Veronica because they have become most critical in terms of uh, core um, Sage of Seven Lily content. This is probably the only time. And I'm so close to actually getting O'Grady's E3 that it's like I could just wait a month. And, you know, this is how you can decide, right? Go into, sorry, go into... And this is how you can decide for yourself, right? Go into Sages 7 Luli. Look at the ranking differences here. Calculate for yourself, right? Like, are you a month away? Are you two months away? Basically, for every week, even if you jump up one tier or even two tiers, right, is the extra material you're getting on a daily basis worth the total resources you're losing? Because here, for me, I'm losing out on 150 of these, uh, 50 of these, and 3,250 of these. That's almost like a week worth of rewards for me. And it's probably not worth it for me to regress at this point. If, because in the future, if one day I do want to push up Donald, you know, I'm actually worse off if I ended up regressing him. So, so that's some food for thought for you. Let's queue over to uh, a quick commercial break here. Um, for those of you who are looking for Aptoid, there is a special code today. October 17th is actually active right now. Um, October underscore 17. When you submit, you will see you get 5% extra bonus. Now, I do not get any cut on, on this special code. Uh, it is available for all the players. Um, and it's just when you're using Aptoid, you're getting 5% extra bonus. So with that out of the way, you know, you can you can enjoy a 5% extra, especially for those of you who are trying to smash these eggs. I I'm just saying, buyers be beware, right? Like here, you can see, uh, I had absolutely atrocious uh, luck. Normally, I would have expected at least one diamond egg from from this many pulls, but you can see my my uh, my reward so far. I got 11 of these, and you know, I don't know. I I'm just looking for at least a guaranteed copy here, so I can plus one to plus four my Arito, but. You know, buyers be warned, but this is also one of the better events in terms of getting all your, you know, getting a lot of guaranteed limited heroes. Starting at this box, you start getting Moon as well. So, and you have a chance, uh, a low chance, but still a chance to be able to get extra uh, limited hero boxes. And all of the hero selection boxes, they have at least one decent hero in them. Uh, that's viable for end game content. So I would say Egg Smash is probably the... If you're a spender, this is probably the, the right event. And right now there is an active code. Um, all right, 
let's get right into the, the main content here. Let's talk about how I build my Mavla. I feel like there's two ways of building Mavla. Um, before E3 and after E3. At E3, she gets the important um, exclusive. Not only it boosts the additional mastery she gets, she will also, when the turn with ally protection ends, she will pursue an attack uh, and random enemy at once. So that means if everybody has pursued attack up, she's going to be doing 10% of her max HP, which is considered as HP burning, um, and pursuing attack pretty much every single turn when your ally move. With this amount of pursuit, it almost make me kind of want to build her with more mastery. So an option to build her is, and again, on this particular account, I have very poor options in terms of, um, in terms of endurance set, but I would even consider putting a decent endurance set on her. Uh, and you can see here with HP and mastery, I don't, I don't particularly like what I see here. And I'm also looking for some, you know, healing effect. It's just non-existent for my, um, for, for that particular set. You, you could try to go for personal damage, but for me, I'm going for healing effect, even though if you actually look carefully, none of her skills actually heal, which boggles my mind. Um, so really it's just converting excess amount of healing stats into mastery for allies. Um, the key thing is sh her utility, right? Is the attack, uh, is the ally protection that we're really looking for. All right, let's just go, go smack up the boss and see what we get. I really hope to finish stage five because this is the last boss I'm missing on. And normally why this is kind of the setup I have to run. Normally this is what I run. And on this particular boss, I get about, I think, 1.3 to 1.4 bill. And I end up dying on turn, turn, turn 10. Now, if we were to switch this up and take out um, Adeline, and we will put in her. Um, one thing, first thing I want to try is, can I actually start using... Um, using the Phoenix pet instead. I think that's the first thing I want to try and to see if that's viable um, because that will make all the HP burn heroes faster. Um, let's see if that's viable for me. And we will see now if I can survive this, hopefully, um, that means I won't actually need the HP burn. Uh, sorry, we wouldn't need the, the Bambi pet for this particular boss, which will be a huge help. Now with her echo, uh, I do have a low probability of cleanse. Uh, you can see, even though I built her on full tenacity set, tough set, sorry, uh, I am still I am still having a real hard time uh, with survivability. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. There is a recovery skill? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did I heal? Where did the heal come from? It says cleanse. All the store damage has increased the shield value, but it, nowhere does it say heal. Let's just watch carefully the next time Mavla takes a turn. So you can see every turn Mavla is is just pursuing, attacking, and doing a little bit of HP burn damage there. Um, but the damage is not very high. See, I'm getting the big shield. The shield is very big because all the store damage does convert to the shield. So even though it says 40% shield, her shield is quite noticeable. Uh, you can see we're turn eight and we're easily having no problem, you know, getting through this boss right now. And I'm pretty sure we have no problem clearing this boss knowing that we can go all the way. 
Uh, and the key thing here is Erato is already fully stacked up, so uh, this is doing really well for us. Wait, I think that heal, did that came from... Um... Oh no, that was... Oh, that HP up there was just from HP up. So everybody got additional HP, max HP. So everybody got a heal off of that. All right, so difficulty five complete. I am super happy that it's finally done. Um, so hopefully with your copy, uh, you are able to clear that as well. And we get a nice set. Hopefully they have good subs. I see two with speed, so we'll roll them later. Uh, but this is really, really nice. Let's go on to stage six. What I'm super afraid of is I actually, okay, good. Erato made sure that we at least survived turn one. Now we got shield up. All right, so I'm gonna just uh, speed through the rest of this video uh, and we'll cut to kind of the end screen there. All right, you can see I died, I think, around turn seven. So survivability definitely is an issue. Um, we're going to attempt this one more time. And I think it's probably better to put our Bambi pet back. Um, and from a skill prioritization perspective, I think I would definitely make sure this is on priority. But afterwards, um, having the shield up probably more frequently, if possible, is key and Hegen's using that near it. I think everybody's prioritizing the right skill, Mamlo. Yep. Now I do hope Mamlo is a little bit faster, but we do have to take a first hit. That's fine. That's fine. We don't have uh, the best gear on everybody. I think we can live with this though. All right. Wow, guys, this is absolutely huge. Going from stage five, 1.3, all the way to uh, 5.7 bill. And my team is not even optimized. I feel like I can do so much more by moving gear around to make, say, my um, mom a little faster, to make my near it faster, to make my anhedrin faster. There, there's just so many ways to further improve this team. And, you know, we'll probably, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do another video on this. Um, but this kind of shows the value and see how difficult it was to survive. Um, again, I don't have a five star Phoenix pet and I would love to know, you know, and, and what we'll see today, right? If some of the top players like Bailey, will they be able to survive with a Bambi pet? Would they have to put in something with the likes of Sigmund for shield or put in the likes of um, uh, like Liz for extra shielding? We'll see. Um, it will be really crazy uh, if this replaces the need of having Phoenix Pet. And I feel really bad because I literally uh, went ahead and tried to get a copy of the Phoenix Pet. Um, but at least that re reduces the reliance on, on on pets, I guess. Phoenix Pet is still really good, nonetheless. Um, all right. So that's on the uh, uh, that's on the main account. Let's go over to our Server 108 account and see how big of a difference it makes over here. All right, so you can see on this one, um, hold on, uh, let's make a few changes here. First of all, we can use Bambi here and we probably wouldn't need Hazanja anymore. Uh, we wanna make sure that Mavla provides and she's for all intents and purposes she's only level 130 she's not even built um we have survivability uh from uh from muron to to make it feasible 
Um, so I'm not too worried and I'm also getting those cleanse out of the way as well. So this is going to be really nice. I think we have no problem clearing the boss and go to stage five. And this is only E0 guys. All you need is E0 to get that protect ally. So, you know, if you want to be able to survive more than 10 turns on this boss, um, especially at stage five or six, this is absolutely a key hero to get. And you don't have to invest too heavily into her, I hope. I think this kind of proves the point. Because in the last one, yes, I got a lot of mastery out of her. Uh, but if you saw earlier, she did like the same amount of damage as Mamalo. So she's not really your damage dealer. Like she, uh, the amount of mastery she provides is only 40 or 50. I think in the grand scheme of things, that amount of extra mastery is maybe only like about a 15% damage increase, uh, 15 to 20%. So it's it's not um, a lot in the grand scheme of things. At exclusive zero, she can provide 26.8, um, is it? So something along the lines of that. Um, yeah, so something close to that number. So you can see here, um, I actually struggled to to kill the boss in time, I think, um, which is really disappointing to see, uh, because I don't have um, I don't have a Mamalo here to drastically increase the damage the enemy takes. I think a quick, easy fix to that problem, however, is simply just replace that with. Um, where is it? Replace this with a Santa. And um, and have Santa give the team a little bit of a speed up. All right, so you saw earlier uh, Santa died. Uh, we're just gonna give this some more try, but I hope this video has been helpful in terms of showcasing uh, the the capabilities of the new hero. Uh, before, I think I was doing barely. I mean, I, I would die on turn t turn ten. So this is roughly where I would die. I w so my damage also drastically increased. It's disappointing that I didn't kill the boss, but maybe maybe I just need to boost my arrow toes just a little bit more so that the the damage is there, and we'll be fine. We should be able to kill it. Um, So this is kind of our, our last attempt, and this time around, um, trying to squeeze the last little bit of damage out, and I went around and grabbed a few better pieces for Adeline. Hopefully that makes things a little bit different. I also, um, I, I wonder if it's the right thing to do to boost the skill damage for Nirid, and if it's not, maybe it would be better to just get more HP onto her. Oh, we did it. We did it. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. There you go. There you go. We did it on the 108 account. Yay. E0. Let's go. We did it. We did it, boys. All right. Hopefully you enjoy the showcase. Um, at this point, I am now forced to put back my, my last HP burn hero, which means we will die very quickly. I wonder if I've, at this point, I think I really should have a Liz built. So this weekend we will build Liz because without Liz on this account, without, you know, high level Bambi, we are very dead. 